this is the model 400. So um, what we have here is, this is the area where you load the material. Water comes in from both sides. So the goal here is actually not to have a full water bed. What you want is just to have the water, um, the water popping on the surface. So you want to have surface, uh, you want to break the surface tension. So when you do that, the light material stays on top of the water, the heavy material sinks, uh, and then when the material sinks, it goes down on this, this rubber mat here and climbs up. So once you get to the top, this is where the water flows out. So the water flows backwards because this is at a slight incline. So the water comes, the material that's coming over the edge here comes out and is dried as, as it's coming through or the water shakes off it. And then your heavy fraction comes in the front. And then on the back side, over here, your water slides down, falls into the next tray. See if I can get a good glimpse here. So it falls down to this tray. There's another screen back there. So the water drains into this uh, tank here and there's a sump there. And then the light fraction equally gets shaken off as it's climbing up because it's at a slight, slight angle back. So you end up with your plastic or light material coming out the front here down below. So light fraction, heavy fraction. And then what's cool here is this tray here that's below, as the material, as it's going over, you might get some fine dust. So if you're doing like e-scrap and stuff that's gold containing, the really heavy fine dust will get trapped in here. And um, you can pop this tray out and it will settle. So. I'm just draining this out. You'll get all your metals. We'll settle in here. And if I do this here, you can see all the copper dust that. Now, the water overflows, goes into this pipe, and this pipe goes all the way to the back. So it's a, it's not a, a dry method. You still get water on the ground in the area. Uh, when we were operating this full time, we had a berm built around around the base. But the sump takes the water and uh, pressurizes this manifold here, the pipe here, and you can control the, the water on your manifold. So it's a pretty straightforward uh, system. You do need to have it anchored to the ground. Um, and then we uh, you can adjust the angle uh, of the table as well. So um, there, that's it, pretty straightforward. So like, comment, subscribe. We'll catch you in the next one. Happy Friday. If you want to see a video of this machine working, check out last week's video. We ran some tailings from wire chopping and we got like, I think it was four or 5% of copper out of that. So I will put the link in the description below and maybe here. Yeah, yeah, Never mind that.